6, the Paragon Falcon family that has stopped construction on the roof of a building on 3rd Avenue is still using its nesting area. The contractor has the state and federal permits to move the chicks, but the move which was expected to happen today has now been delayed. John Chumway reports the Game Commission is now carefully planning the transfer. Falcons are a bird to be respected. They're the fastest animal creature on the planet. Um, it can go up to 200 miles an hour. Fierce when they... I've seen a PennDOT worker get his hard hat knocked off his head from one of them. Bahala says helmets and safety glasses are a must. Yeah, it'll get your attention. As we saw at the Gulf Tower during a banding operation in 2014. Go ahead. One at a time. So the Game Commission is carefully planning the move of the 4th Avenue Peregrines. Today, Game Commission Officer Doug Berman did a little recon and photography work to see exactly where the chicks are and what challenges retrieving them will pose beyond mom and dad, Dory and Louie, showing up. What appears to be a bundle of white feathers are actually four apparently healthy falcon chicks. They grow fast. Once they get really mobile, you know, the last thing you want to do is be chasing them around up there on a ledge, uh, you know, trying to catch them. So um, to, to that extent, there's, there's some urgency to not wait too much longer. A day for the move hasn't been chosen, but the destination? Well, a move elsewhere downtown was nixed. There's always a chance that they could be rejected. So they'll go to the Humane Animal Rescue Wildlife Center in Verona. So they, they have raised other peregrines and uh, rehabilitated injured ones uh, uh, multiple times over, over the years. The center's cost will be paid by BET Investments, the developer of the building next door. And probably by midsummer, the chicks will be released. As for Dory and Louie after their offspring are gone. I mean, they could stay there for a while, you know, uh, looking for the chicks or they could abandon the area too. John Shumway, KDKA TV News.